Hi, this is Dr. Sanket Mehta from Specialty Surgical Oncology and today we are going to talk about the investigations required for the diagnosis of colorectal cancer. Colon cancer is a very common cancer among the Western population as well as in the Oriental population. However, the incidence in India is much lower and which is why we do not have mass screening methods where colon cancer can be diagnosed early. So the first step in the detection of colon cancer is a high index of suspicion. Even if you are young in age, if you have bleeding per rectum, as in bleeding in stools, which is not uh, relenting after two or three days of treatment, you need to get a colonoscopy done to diagnose or to rule out a colon cancer. Even if you have manifest hemorrhoids, it is essential to get a colonoscopy done to rule out a synchronous malignancy along with a potentially benign problem like hemorrhoids. Colonoscopy is in fact the first initial technique by which uh, early stage colon cancer can be detected. In fact, colonoscopy can even prevent the formation of colon cancer by detecting polyps which can be resected at the time of colonoscopy to prevent further colon cancer development. The other investigations uh, that can be used to raise a doubt of suspicion for colon cancer is fecal occult blood test. It's a very simple stool test and if there is occult blood in stools, a colonoscopy is mandatory to rule out a colon cancer. Colonoscopy is a very simple test in which a scoop is passed after cleaning the intestine through the entire large intestine from which we can see the inside aspect of the large intestine and detect early tumors which can be biopsied as well. The next step in the staging of colon cancer is to perform a CT scan and if it is a rectal tumor to perform an MRI of the pelvis that is the lower half of the abdomen. These two investigations are mandatory to stage the extent of the disease whether it is stage 1, stage 2, stage 3 which means it has spread outside the colon or the rectum into the surrounding tissue or stage 4 where it has spread outside uh, the organ of origin like to the peritoneum or the liver or elsewhere. There are also certain other blood tests like tumor markers, CEA, CA99 which can be performed to have a baseline value which can be then used to monitor once the treatment is done for the patient. So these are the investigations which are used for diagnosis and staging of colon cancer. If you have any further queries, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm Dr. Sanket Mehta from Specialty Surgical Oncology.